you were wishing for a white Christmas, maybe next year. But we hope you got to be surrounded by friends and family, like everyone who submitted those pictures you just saw there. The lack of snow in our area may be a welcome sight for some, but as our Max Goldwasser reports, it's hampering a local ski area's plans and even making it hard for a simple family outing. Last time I was here at Cannonsburg, it was the end of November and they were running these snow blowers in the daytime for the first time. There was excitement. There was hope for the season ahead. But here we are on Christmas. The snow is basically gone and they still have yet to open. Not the kind of attire <laughs> you're hoping to wear at this time of year. No, are you kidding? No. <laughs> Danielle Musto rocking the shorts in December. She's the communications director here at Cannonsburg. Every Christmas day, she and her sister run the trails. Although last year looked a lot different. Yeah, it was epic. My sister and I were in the woods in like snow drifts up to our knees and it was so much fun. Like it, we felt like we were in a Christmas globe. Well, that globe is gone because this video she took on Monday, this looks like it was shot in the middle of summer. Well, not everyone's complaining about it, though. Well, it's not good for skiers, but it sure is for mountain bikers. <laughs> so I guess you're not complaining. <laughs> no, no shoveling, no treacherous roads. So I'm loving it. Musto cannot say the same. Punching walls. I mean, basically, I want to cry. I mean, there's no there's no way that you can sugarcoat it. It's really sad. And this is usually Cannonsburg's busiest time of the year from Christmas through New Year's. Kids are on break from school. People are visiting from out of town. And this lack of traffic is hurting them in more ways than one. In so many different ways. Obviously, financially, we're missing out on two to three of our busiest weeks of the season. But also in mid-November, we hire 200 employees. We have employees who return every year from, you know, college, you know, for Christmas break and are expecting to work. Cannonsburg isn't the only one. The website for Bittersweet in Otsego says it is also closed until further notice. <laughs> How about other winter activities like ice skating at Rosa Parks? The Facebook page says it would have been closed for Christmas anyway, but that wasn't going to stop Ruben Tavares and his family from lacing up their skates until they saw the conditions. Well, I was planning on hoping getting on the ice today with the boys, maybe a little skate, but it's not looking like it. <laughs> Back on the hill, Musto says there's a date to keep in mind, January 7th. In her eight years working there, that's the latest they've opened for any season, which is not a record they hope to break. We've worked for months for this moment, and so now we're just at a standstill waiting for the one thing we can't control. Yeah, so at this point, it's kind of just a waiting game for resorts like Cannonsburg. Musto telling me that, you know, based on the forecast, they don't know when they're going to be able to make snow again. But as soon as that day comes, you better believe they are not going to waste any time turning these blowers back on. On the Hill, Max Goldwasser, Fox 17 News.